Okay, tell me about your approach to photography and the type of work you really love to do. Well, as far as the type of work I like to do, I've, I've always considered myself more in the vein of photojournalism. You know, I like to capture, if not reality, things that appear to be real. And I've actually never considered myself a photographer. Um, you know, I never went to school for photography. You know, I was a Sino-Soviet major. I went to school on a football scholarship and, you know, I was interested in humanities. But I'd always taken pictures from the time I was a little kid, had my own cameras. And while I never thought about it at the time, I was kind of documenting everything that I saw, both in the families, the neighborhoods. And I've always considered what I do and my approach to it more like being an actor where you put on the clothes and it's very Stanislavski. You become what you shoot. And that's how I've always tried. That's why I, I actually got into it. It's allowed me to live out various movies uh, as a character in the movie while documenting it at the same time. And it's always given me cachet and entree to situations where you'd never get into unless you were doing this. What would you say are the key components that you use every time you pick up a camera or even before you pick one up? My soul, honestly. I mean, it's most of the things I shoot, I shoot because I want to explore more. I want to be there. I want to become that, that moment or be with these people. So let's take a look at that connection point. What are some sort of inside tips for making that kind of connection? Being a chameleon. I mean, being a person that you really pay attention, I mean, viscerally in, in your soul and, and try to read where you are and, and who you are and how you fit in in relation to your subjects. Sometimes it means almost being invisible. Uh -huh. Other times it means really relating to an individual or groups of individuals. Z-Man, any final advice for viewers who want to get better shots? Just remain engaged and always be open. Um, try to see and feel everything and just capture it. I think the most important thing is to shoot what really moves you and, and shoot what you feel. You know, whether you're doing it just for pleasure as an amateur or whether you're doing it for a job. Something that really resonates in you and moves you. Because chances are, if it moves you, it's going to move some other people too. Michael, thank you for joining us and for giving us an inside look into your world of photography. Hey, it's great being here. Be sure to subscribe now to stay updated on my show, and we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also, check out our guests' website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.